mean, I don't think we have much else to go off of, to be honest. So. Oh my god! Day five. Party killer did. All right. <clears throat> Party killer. I couldn't understand all of these terms and formulas from her letters, so I asked a local professor for help. It turns out in his youth, he studied with our old woman at the university. <laughs> of course. She had a science degree. Who would have thought? Unfortunately, this gentleman's family suffered a tragedy. His granddaughter was killed. She and her fellow students threw a three-day party at 6 Barnhill Street, and after walking away from the hangover, they found her already cold body. The murder took, oh, uh, took place in October of 1904, but we do not know the exact day or hour. I saw how our grandmother was able to establish a connection between the killer and the victim using tarot cards. If you repeat this ritual and find the killer, the will help us with the others. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Fathom. Okay, so our objectives, we're going to send the killer's dossier, we're going to mark and send where he was at the hour of the murder, and then we need to send the result of the victim's tarot reading. Okay. <clears throat> and with that, it's time to solve this motherfucking crime. I feel like I should be the victim of this killer. They're located on the second floor. Oh, cool. Uh, let go. Yeah, nothing wrong up here. Just, uh, it's a nice house. Everyone's favorite house. Well, this is it. Found it. That was easy. Any other places I can light in here? It's fucking dark. And, like, I turned this game up, too. Oh, why is there a hole in the fucking wall? Oh, bastards. Okay. Alright, that's it. That's all we're gonna get. Alright. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Terror card reading will help to find... Oh, my God! Uh, find the connection between the victim and the killer. Make sure that the ritual candle is lit. Check. Put the victim dossier on the stand. Check. Shuffle the deck until its images shine with light. Start opening the cards one by one. Watch out for the death card. Shut up. Oh, I get it. Oh, the strength card. Yes. That's a good sign. The Emperor. Oh no! What, is, what does that mean? Uh oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to. What is going on here? Okay, there we go. Flip it. The lovers. Oh, it doesn't matter until we find the justice card. That's right. Okay, I get it then. So does it, these cards don't matter right yet. Justice! Okay. Open and memorize one final card after that. Find out the meaning of the card and mark the connection between the victim and the killer. Okay. That's not that bad. The tower. The murderer is part of the family. Wait, what number is it? 16. The murderous part of the family. No! Fucking tard. No! Jesus. Alright. Oh my god, why? Okay, so now we need to go back downstairs. <clears throat> we have to relight the candle anyways. Don't you fucking do it. Don't fucking do it. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put Rebecca's down here because she's the dead one. Uh, Zodiac sign. Right, 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 right. Sounds like he's right here. That's fucking horrific. Uh, September 24th. That would be Libra. 
Libra in the symbol looks like it looks like air. Literally looks like air. Uh oh. Where is it? Is it that one? Eighth? Why can't I figure that one out? Where is it? Oh, right there. Oh, it's worth it. So we know it's October. That's 10, 1904. We already know it's the 10th month. That's easy. Um, okay, so we need the blue. So the third letter of the, of the first name. Uh, the first of the name has less than three letters. Name is Rebecca. That's more than three. Just the third letter. B. It's two. So red goes to two. We know it's the, uh, the moon. Okay. And then the next one, last name. If there are more than five letters, there's not. Uh, if that's the last one. N. N is a uh, uh, five. So blue. Five. Fuck you. Oh, fuck. It's not that one. No, no, no. The bad. <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, that was way too close. So we know it's the 10th month. It's the two hour in the afternoon, so that's 14th hour. And the day was the fifth. Yay! Got it. Okay. Now we need to go and probably hit this candle. Put up a fresh one, right? And then we need to go and figure, go to the, the, the map. We fucking not do this right now, please. What does this fucking mean? Is that good if I do that? Oh. That was fucking tense. <laughs> Here we are. Good, good, good. All right, first, Rebecca Dean, let's confirm her location with the time that we know. So again, it's October 5th, 1904. October 5th, 1904. October 5th, 1904. October 5th, 1904. Let's go figure out where she was. Confirming. I think we knew she was at the 6th house. Yeah, 6 Barnhill Street. We knew that. That confirms it. So now, let's start figuring out where the killer was. Was it her sister on her own birthday? Oh, she was there. What about Jacob, the brother? No. It was 4th Highfield Street. How about Alan Leary? Where were you, bud? He too was there. And Victor Sanders, where were you? Down the street. Okay, so... So we know it's in the family. Yep, exactly. Yep. So we can start going through some here. So we know that Alan Larry is not in the family. Oh yeah, he is. Fiance of Selena Dean. Uh, so he technically could be. So Victor Sanders cannot possibly be him because he's not. He's just the victim's neighbor. 
So he's not a suspect. He's actually innocent. So you can block him out of there. And he was also not at 6 Barnhill Street. He was at 4. So he's completely... Just wipe him off the board. Doesn't matter. Okay, fine. So that still leaves us with Selena, the sister. Jacob, the brother. And Alan, the fiancé of the sister. And where were they? Well, we know Jacob Dean, the brother, was at uh, Highfield... That's not how you spell Highfield Street. Oh my god, what happened? Capital I and two E's. Woohoo! Uh, he was at the other side of town. So, it can't possibly be Jacob. He's innocent. Fucking wipe him off the board. Okay. So, who else was there? Well, Rebecca obviously was there. She was dead. The sister was there. And so was the fiancé. So, I mean... Is, he's not family yet because he's technically fiancé. And they made that clear that it's fiancé and not husband or boyfriend. I mean, what else can I use? What other tables do I have? I have this one that gives us the uh, time and location. We have the wheel. We did the tarot cards. What was the second one that I got? Oh, the item! We have to find the, the special item to, that means something to the victim. And it gives us another fucking clue. That's right. Alright. Cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and put Sleepness on here. Oh, shit. Oh, just like... I hate that that's the worst part of the game. It really is. It's like right here. Fireplace, clocks, bed, blade, toys, ca oh, candle! No, but those rod rods are silent. That just mean I don't have any. If this isn't gonna help. Yeah, that's correct. So I, Rod. So we, should that mean she doesn't have an item? Fuck! <laughs> oh no! Wait a minute. Mark and send where he was at the hour of the murder. There's only one he up there. I think it's got to be Alan. Just with that information. Like that little bit right there. I didn't notice it before. I, mean, I don't think we have much else to go off of, to be honest. So. Oh my god! What the fuck? Come on! Oh! Oh! Jesus fucking Christ. I was so fucking jazzed up. I'm like, all right, let's go. We got this one. Bing, bang, boom. <laughs> bang. <laughs> fucking bullshit. Oh. I got, beat it. Doss here. It's at oh, that's the clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, murder is part of the family. Book him, Dano. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, no. I'm just trapped from a devastating conversation with the boss. Your letter didn't help us in any way. Another father of the victim wants my blood. How is that incorrect? He was definitely there. I mean, and if it's not Selena, then we know it's Jacob. We can just go right... We don't have to go through the fucking motions. We'll just go right for it. So, Dossier, we think it's Selena. The clues are that the murderer is part of the... <laughs> and... I guess that, that she was there. Do it. 
Yes! Okay. I put a little pressure on her during the interrogation. She began to sing. I thought that she did it out of jealousy, but there was something else. Only during the interrogation, she mentioned where she heard about the betrayal of her groom and her sister. Oh! In a dream. This professor lost his second granddaughter. I personally came to arrest her, and yet he kept his word. During her university years, our grandma came up with an insane theory of what she called consciousness transmission. This is the assumption that thoughts and feelings live in some kind of invisible field that can affect people. Judging by her last letters, in recent years she has come to the conclusion that even the thoughts of deceased people can emit these residual waves. If I didn't know that your fortune-telling works, I would consider these rec records to be absolute nonsense. Maybe the professor's granddaughter heard something from beyond. Oh boy. Day six? Yo, what's, what's my first paycheck at? Street justice. Oh boy. Time to, we got lots of names over here. Street Justice. This time I sent you an example of a crime that no one wants to solve. <laughs> what? One couple terrorized residents of a small neighborhood. They carried out armed robberies and intimidated witnesses after. The locals couldn't do anything about it because the girl's father is, let's say, is quite an influential person. It all ended badly. The couple was killed. Amelia at the end of 1903 near the house at 7 Glower Street. Lucas in September 1904 in a local shop at 4 Glower Street. Experts say they were shot from a same revolver. The locals refused to testify. Maybe they deserved it, but if we don't arrest the culprit, they, they friends will come to the neighborhood and we he will have a lot more victims on our hands. Or we will have a lot more victims on our hands. So they send a killer's dossier. Send where he was at the hour of the first murder. Send where he was at the hour of the second murder. And then send the result of the victim's tarot reading. Oh my god. So we had to do, like, everything twice. We had to do two different tarot readings. Then we have to do two different uh, wheels. And then we have to do two different maps. And then technically two different items as well. Even if they both just have rods that touch. We should really... <laughs> rods that touch. <laughs> Right, upstairs is this way. God damn it, why does the door only open one way? It's the fucking worst. Alright. Amelia's up first. Oh, come on. Justice is first. Let's go. First card is Judgment. 20. The Murderer Seeks Justice. Okay, there's a fucking surprise. Can I do the next one, please? Can I? Can I? Do I have to return the cards to the deck first? Oh, wow. Haha. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Again. Boom. Boom. Speed running this shit. The Emperor. The Emperor. The Emperor, number four. The killer is a man. Okay. Four. Killer is a man. Fuck you, dude. What? I'll zoom in from now on. I always fuck that one up. Alright. So, born August 13th. August 13th is a Leo fire. That guy there is a four. It's a four. Go over to four. Okay. Um, all right, so we got fire. So first letter of the first name is A. A is a one. So red. That's... Fuck. I heard the fucking drapes fall okay so we got red to one that's good last name if the surname has identical letters then the key letter of the surname is the first one if not it's the last identical w-a-l-k-e-r no so that means it's the last one which is an r r is a two so blue goes to two and we know the year of her, so it's 1903. 
month. It was January. The 28th day of January. And it was in the afternoon, one hour. So that's 12 plus 1 is 13. There's one. Great. Wow, like... <laughs> so you are October 5th. October 5th falls under Libra, which is the air symbol. Okay. Um, third letter, the name, the first, the name is the first three. It's got more than three, so it's a C. C is a three. Red goes to three. And if there are more than five letters in the surname, one, two, three, four, five, yes, then the letter of the surname is the fifth one, if not it's the last one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, it's an E. E is a five. Blue goes to five. Why do you do this to me? Okay, uh, so we know the year was different. It's 1904. Um... It was the ninth month. God damn, I have to go change the candle. Because otherwise it won't work. Fuck off! Too bad you can't just have these all in one fucking room, huh? That'd be nice. Okay. Ninth month. It was the eighth hour in the afternoon, so plus 12 is 20. 20th hour, and this. So it's a six. Okay, I see the dot. Yeah, six. Okay, sixth day. Fucking <laughs> <sighs> scared me. Hello, Satan. <laughs> Alright, we got them both. Mur the murderer seeks justice, the killer is a man. We have both times of death okay death amelia walker january 28th 1903 so 12803 12803 128 <clears throat> 3 what was the hour 13 okay 128, 1903, 13. Got it. Where were you? Shut up. Seven Glower. Lucas, on your death day, you died at the 20th hour. 9604. 20th hour. 9. 6. 4. Where were ya? Four glower. Okay, so <clears throat> now what we need to do it, What is that? Oh, we need to leave um we're going to leave his date here on the board and do the five witnesses. Then we'll switch it back to the first date in Dossier for Amelia and do the same thing with those five. Shit. Shit, where is it? Why 
I do? What do I do? <laughs> what do I fucking do? Oh. Oh. Is it upstairs? Oh! Holy shit! Oh my god! Have I played the room at all? Oh, hi, Sam! Fuck! I don't want to play this anymore. Was there a fucking mirror? Like, what? I just heard it. It's upstairs. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I got it. Fuck you. One eternity later. So Amelia was on Seven Glower. Jerry was at Seven Glower. And then Lucas was on Four Glower. Jerry was on Four Glower. Yo, play Math Blasters. <laughs> Dude, that's for real. I totally fucking would. Um, so Jerry did it. Whatever he was arguing with about them, he fucked them up good. Uh, the janitor. 18-year-old janitor. Look at that. <clears throat> now. There it is. Okay. We know it was Jerry. Uh, he was hour of the first murder. Hour of the second. And results of the tarot reading was uh, the killer is a man. I guess that's the best we could do. Because I can't put down, like, you know, each, like, a report for Amelia, then a report for Lucas. So I guess we'll just do that. This was peak video. We should have stopped there, for real. Cool. That was good. All right. A murder weapon was found in Mr. Hancock's house. I believe that he did not act alone, but he refuses to name any accomplices. During the interrogation, he almost immediately confesses that he was haunted by thoughts of their murder. This thoughts, the, this thoughts didn't end even with the death of the Walkers. Now he dreams about other murders. This cannot be a coincidence. All killers mention strange dreams and voices. It seems that among the dead hides the one who can control the living. It's good that there is one among us who is able to control the dead. It is you who can control them, and not vice versa, right? Uh, it's give and take here, brother. Alright, day seven. Rags to reaches. <clears throat> okay. This might be the last one for tonight. We'll see. There must be an explanation of why you are starting to see her more often. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're using more of her rituals and they're making contact easier. That's true. The portal's open a lot longer. Why does she hunt you if she herself left you all these instructions? This is true. I know it's hard for you, but we have to keep going. You saw the last case. Those who hear the voice cannot stop after one murder. Someone has to catch the guilty. Otherwise, we will face even more deaths. Over the past couple of months, screams and sounds of fighting became a common thing. Such a fight recently happened on the outskirts. We have found a body in a homeless camp at Southway Road 1. I talked to the informant and identified five suspects who could have been there at the time of death, 1904, early September. The problem is that they can hide anywhere. I don't need to find all people from there, just the killer. Send me the name of the killer and where he is today on 30th of November, 1104. Oh, wow. So. Huh. So we'll have to confirm who was there on a particular death day. And then on top of that, switch the date back to current time, which is 2200 
30th of November, 1904, at least right now. There's actually a timer in the bottom of the right corner, so that could technically change. So we'll have to double check that as we go. So then I'll be able to tell us where he currently is. So we'd be send, send a killer's dossier and just be like, yep, confirm this is it. No evidence as to why, just, yeah, this is the person. And then where are they? Right there. So two pieces of evidence we need. Unfortunately, to get the first piece of evidence to determine that it's the, the, the killer, we gotta do like everything. Um, because there's five people here. The mirrors are gonna be fucking wonky as shit. I'm not looking forward to this at all, to be honest. Come on! Give me justice! The sun. I need justice. Justice! Alright, then our card is... The High Priestess. The murderer has an accomplice. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Well, well! That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's head downstairs. March 4th is Pisces Water. Is that it right there? Is it good? We're really looking at H? Yep. Okay, cool. Stop at the doors. All right, and that's a water symbol. Last letter of the name is a Y. Y is a one. So red goes to one. Okay. Again, purple, water. Surname has identical letters. H-O-P-K-I-N-S. Nope. Uh, the letter of the surname is the last one. If not, then it's the first one. H. H is a five. Blue. Fuck off. Blue goes to five. And that tells us... Oh, we know the year, right? 1904. It says 1904. The month is the sixth. The day is the third. And it was actually during the day. It was in the morning. So two is two. So two in the morning. Fuck. What? All right. Then that must be a... I must... Oh, it's a nine. I, the fucking... Shit. Yay! This one sucks. This one sucks. All right. There's no birds. Got there quick enough. But first, let's go ahead and change the candle out. Because I... Why does it do that? Like, I don't know what to fucking do, man. God damn it. That doesn't fucking help. Rods are silenced. There's no item. Alright, so hopefully there's only two people that are at this fucking place. I don't know how I feel about that breathing behind my back either. 2934. I'm not turning around for that. I had to turn around. Alright, so that's where he was when he died. <clears throat> was Ryan there? Nope. Ryan was somewhere else. So it wasn't Ryan. Max? Was it Max? Sebastian Bach. Oh, 
He was there. I just somehow missed it. Ellie Edwards was there. This ding dong is probably a town hall, anyways. Uh. Okay. So, well, hold on. Accomplice has a murder as a. The murder has an accomplice. <laughs> Roger's silent. And this is the death day. So, when he was at Southway Road 1, who else was there? Only two people. So we know that Alexandra is innocent. We know that Max Richardson is innocent. And we know Ryan Turner is innocent. Although, actually, no, because it's the exact hour. So, yeah, I, never, I was going to say those two were together, too. So it was a different time. Uh, so either Sebastian or Elliot was the killer. The other one was the accomplice. Um <clears throat> The problem is, so we got to read their stories, I guess. Sebastian, street artist, sold his drawings at the intersection of Highfield and Nowhere. Not so long ago, after he started to hang out with Edwards, he began to dabble in petty theft. Elliot Edwards, a handyman and troublemaker, he was fired for stole money from work. He had a passion for poker, and this is a dangerous thing. And on top of that, Brantley says he recently won a large sum of money at a gambling house. I think it's the connection we need. Um, so why don't we figure out where Elliot is now? And uh, we'll hightail it out of here. 22. Okay. Uh, 223011 4. Great. Cue it up. Where is he? Why are you... Oh, it's one upstairs. Shit. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna die. That was fucking close. Alright, 30th of the month. Oh, shit. Oh, look at me being an American. Thank you. I'm so dumb. That's where he is now. And while we're here, we'll get Sebastian, too. Sebastian's dead. <laughs> I wouldn't say he's a victim, but he's dead. Uh, it's Elliot Edwards, without a doubt. Holy shit. All right. Uh... <laughs> Got him! <he! laughs> yes. All right. So it's Elliot Edwards. Where is he now? He's in uh, Pinner Street. Yep. Send it. See you later, bitch. It turned out that we are dealing with two murders. This morning, Edwards tried to hang himself in his cell. He said that he planned to share the loot with Bach, but the devil convinced him to keep everything for himself. We were right. It was this voice again. The people who fall under the influence of the voice are not connected in any way. They have only two things in common. First, they all live in our town. And second, this voice compels them to commit murders. C commit murderers? You mean commit murders. Whoever that voice is, it wants to drown our city in blood. Maybe our grandmother was trying to stop it. Maybe it is our grandmother because she's trying to fucking kill me, dude. Like, what the fuck? 